Fentanyl is killing the unsuspected every day. I stand before you today to tell you how my 18-year-old daughter died from fentanyl. Um, my daughter um, had knee surgery. Um, she was 18 years old and she loved gymnastics. So um, she was finally able to get a knee surgery done. Um, and as a result, she was in a lot of pain. Because of that, was pressured into peer pressure by the social media, um, you know, talking to friends saying, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, and then suggesting, well, so-and-so, you know, can get you some pills. So she ordered a pill through Snapchat that she thought it was a pain pill. And, um, and it was delivered right to the house. The pill he brought her while I was getting her food was not a painkiller. It was fentanyl. So it killed her instantly. And I found her, I said goodnight to her that night and um, found her lifeless body the next morning in bed. She took the pill and one pill can kill. And the, the pills don't discriminate. Actually, you know, providing these platforms to these drug dealers to merchandise these drugs and not so much as fentanyl disguised as you know, whether it's Xanax or Adderall, I mean, it comes in everything. I mean, kids are even vaping it these days. Any opportunity I could get to help families and and speak and tell my story to prevent other families from having to go through, having to endure this profound, this profound pain that my family has gone through. Um, I will take that opportunity. And I want to thank you, Roman. Thank you so much for... I'm just so grateful and honored to, to be a part of what, what you're doing. Um, you have been and continue to fight this um, ever-growing crisis and drug epidemic that has plagued our society.